If you're intimidated in using paints in your classroom, you'll find that some of the techniques that you're going to see today are not very messy and are very easy for the children to do. They don't require a lot of setup and they can be a lot of fun. In talking about paints, um, one of the things that I like to do is to use my paints in the beginning of class so that they have time to dry before the parents come and pick up the children. A lot of times mom will come to the door with um, baby in one hand and a Bible in another hand and then you hand her this ooey gooey messy paint project and she's, what am I supposed to do with this? So if the paints can dry, it makes it a lot easier when the parents come to pick up. Um, another thing that you can do is if the paints are not dry is that you can use a hair dryer and just by blowing on it with a hair dryer, a hot hair dryer, that will help to dry it quicker. Or if you have a tissue, you can just kind of dab those real wet areas and pick up some of the moisture from it. I also like to wear gloves for myself just because even though the children may not be getting messy, sometimes the teacher is a little bit more hands-on with the paint and you'll end up with paint all over your hands. Um, there are a couple of different kinds of paints that you can use. Probably the most popular are called tempera paint. And you can either get it in a liquid form where it's already mixed or you can get it in a powder form and you just add a little bit of water to it and you just need a very tiny bit and mix it up. This way you can mix up just as enough that you need for class. Now in the techniques you're going to see different ways to use watercolor, tempera paint, bubble paint, and you also in your handout you're going to have a booklet that's make your own art supplies. Now in make your own art supplies there's some recipes there where you can make your own paint if you don't have access to any of these kind of paints. Just using ordinary household um, items and some food coloring. So have fun with it. Don't be scared of paint. Um, it can be a lot of fun in your classroom.